Netherland Institute for Neuroscience, NIN. This is, a, this is a very different NIN. Some music fans might know NIN as Nine Inch Nails. Very different. The Netherlands Institute of Neuroscience is very different from Nine Inch Nails and Trent Reznor. I got to put that up at the top. Uh, but they have uh, they found out that male and female rats show an aversion to creating harm. That's fascinating. That's super. That's kind of super cool to me. That that that's that's what it, they have an aversion of creating harm. And uh, and previously, people only thought that this this mentality was only found in humans. That only humans had an aversion to creating harm. Um, and w apparently, we're not the only ones. They they found it in uh, in rats, right? But even then, it's like humans are only kind of they're only kind of avert in creating harm. Right. Like like we're one of the few animals that literally go to war for virtually no reason. Right. And other people are like, oh, but we got to take other people's resources. We got to. But we have manifest destiny, Chris. Yeah. Apparently the rats don't, which I think makes them a superior creature. The rats don't manifest destiny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like go to war over over no purpose at all is it's like the opposite of harm aversion. Um, so. <laughs> Uh, what they found out is that this harm aversion occurs in the same region of the brain uh, that creates empathy for humans, right? It's just the, their their harm aversion occurs in the same region of the brain as as in humans, uh, which the which the uh, Netherlands Institute of Neuroscience (NIN), not Trent Reznor, uh, they they have said that this is a deep biological response in human in in all animals really it's a deep rooted biological response to uh not uh, cause harm to other people harm aversion is like a deep biological response it's in our nature to not hurt each other right which kind of makes sense because if you really look back to uh, like some of the older rituals and traditions that we've seen from like pagans and indigenous cultures there's always this ritual there's always this like we're going to give back uh, you know, to, to, uh, we're going to honor the animals that we have, uh, um, we've, uh, you know, killed in order to eat them. Like we, there, there's that ritual aspect to it. So that kind of, I think shows, um, that, that this is a deep rooted thing. And they had like all, you know, they, nobody wants the, the indigenous culture didn't want any part of the animal to go to waste. That's kind of a really interesting thing. Um, you know, we're, and, and we are going up against biology right now, though. Like, if you look at modern cultures, like, as we progress in humanity, we are going against this deep-rooted biological response not to cause harm, uh, you know, because uh, because McDonald's and Burger Kings are everywhere. <laughs> I feel like the existence of McDonald's and, and Burger King, like, goes against all of this stuff. Like, it goes against the deep-rooted biological response. <laughs> That's... Like that's what McDonald's and Burger King are. They are they are bastardizations to deep rooted biological response. They are against biology, and I think if you've eaten McDonald's or Burger King, uh, it makes sense that they're against biology, right? They they may they they don't uh, use biology in uh, uh, in their food. It's uh, it's all it's all non biological substances. So I feel like uh, I feel like that makes sense. So this experiment that they ran, um, basically the way they ran it was they had two levers uh, that these rats would run through a maze and they would pull one of the levers, right? And uh, one of the levers, they trained them that would give them like a sugar pellet, like a sucrose pellet. Um, and they did that. They trained the rats so that when they pulled a specific pellet, uh, a lever, a pellet would come out and they'd be able to eat the, eat the food. So round two... Once they were trained to do that, they repeated the experiment, but they added something to it where every time the uh, the rat would pull the lever and get the sucrose pellet, it would also send a, a, an electrical shock to the other rats and it would make them squeal and, and cause pain and stuff. And eventually, um, you know, a few times of doing that, the, the rats stopped pulling the lever uh, because it was causing pain um, to their neighbors, to their fellow uh, the, to their fellow rats. And they found out that this is occurring, like I said, in the exact same spot that human empathy 
lies, which is the, I'm going to butcher um, the scientific name of this, but the anterior cinguate cortex. If there's anybody that's like a, a big science geek that's watching and just listen to me butcher that. <laughs> but uh, basically, it's this region in between both cortexes of the brain, both hemispheres of the brain, right? Like it's it's right in the, it, it, the center. That's where empathy lies. Empathy lies in the in this just in the fucking center of all of it, right? Which is kind of awesome. Uh, so really, empathy is a full brain response. It uses both the right and the left side of the brain. Uh, it uses the logical, the emotional, and the creative sides of your brain in order to um, it, to uh, activate empathy. I think uh, so. That's kind of that's kind of cool. Now. To continue the experiment, uh, what these these uh, these scientists did is they injected a chemical into the rat's brain uh, to suppress the function of this empathy in uh, in between both the brains, right? And th and that did make the rats not give a shit as much, uh, which I think we need to do a big study in humans. I think we are ready to uh, uh, to to move this to human trials. Uh, and let's look into the brain of a bunch of Congress people, right? We got to let's look into the brains of uh, Mitch McConnell and fucking Chuck Schumer, all these people that are like not willing to help regular Americans where they're like, what if we gave people more loans when they're not making money? You know, and we see, is there like a tumor uh, or, uh, or, or, or just like a, maybe like a gold coin? that's like jammed uh, in the empathy section of their brain. Maybe it's a God-shaped hole because all these people talk about how uh, they're, they're devoted to God. You know, maybe it's just the God-shaped hole is just kind of like carved out uh, where empathy is supposed to be. And right now it's just a hole um, in their brain. And probably not even a god shape. It's just a hole. There's just a hole in the center of of like all of these politicians brains um like a donut it's a that's what their brain their brains are just like a big uh big donut uh and uh and what's missing is um uh, is the empathy part is the part where they they understand uh humans i think is where it is uh so uh, here here's what the scientists said could be the cause of why these rats uh, stopped pulling the lever, you know, before they, before they injected that, uh, that chemical to suppress the thing. Um, they, they, here, here's, here's what they said. I'll, I'll read you what the article said. So, uh, this is professor, uh, Christian Kears, who's the group leader at NIN. Uh, and, uh, prof professor says perhaps a rat stops pressing the harmful lever because it doesn't like to hear another rat squeak, uh, just as we don't like to hear a crying baby on a transatlantic flight. Perhaps they do so because they feel sorry for their neighbor. We don't know whether our rats had a selfish or altruistic motivation, but I would argue that we don't always know the motives behind the good deeds of humans either. Whether the motive that we share uh, share a mechanism that prevents antisocial behavior with rats is extremely exciting to me. Uh, we can use all the powerful tools of brain science to explore how to increase harm aversion in antisocial patients. Uh, that's pretty cool. I think that's a pretty cool statement, and I think he's right. Um, uh, you know, we we don't know. Uh, well, sometimes we don't know what, what makes somebody do good. Like, I feel like when people are just nice to each other, people kind of like freak out. <laughs> They're just like, what do you want from me? What do you want? Why are you, why are you helping me? You, you know, like I, I've, I've done that. Like if, you know, like if there's just like an old person lifting, I'm like, Hey, can I help you carry your bags? They're like, what do you fucking get away from me? Psycho. Like, that's how we treat kindness. <laughs> Uh, you know, like even in relationships, when I've just like been nice to to people I've been in relationships with, it, it it's it's just like, what do you want? Is this a, is this a sex thing? Do you get do you get a sex thing out of it? And it's like I don't know. I'm just kind of being nice to you because you're like a human that I enjoy being around. You know, <laughs> we're just like we're just really weirded out by 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 niceness, and I think it's because we're not using uh, all of our brain. Uh, we're not using the empathy center of our brains, uh, and uh, because it involves using uh, a, a larger percentage of our brain, 
so um yes i think um i don't i don't think we you know we we fully understand whether this is altruistic or selfish but uh, the good deed is a good deed. I think we should take it at at, at least we should take it at, at that value, um, you know. So uh, th this also proves that animals aren't selfish. Like that that was a, a precognition that only human beings were the only animals that weren't selfish. Uh, but this proves that other animals are also not selfish, right? Whether whether the good deed was done for a selfish motive or not, the good deed was done. Period, right? And then you also have uh, wombats. They dug holes. When Australia was set on fire, uh, you know, probably because of God, I, I'll say, uh, you know, probably God, it's, God's is not a fan of Australia. Um, you know, the, the, the island continent was started as a prison and God was just like, hey, maybe you should have just left it the fuck alone. Um, and so like God had to like set it on, obviously set it on fire. There was like no, uh, no other real explanation. It could be climate change, uh, but it's probably not uh, because God. So, um, and, uh, and, you know, God hasn't changed in, in, a, in 10,000 years. So God had to set Australia on fire or it's just, or it's, or it's because of man-made climate change. Um, I guess we'll never know. I guess we will, we will know because science is telling us that it's a uh, man-made climate change. Anyway, when Australia was on fire, uh, wombats, they dug, they dug holes for water to, uh, you know, uh, sink into them. And so other animals would have water, uh, to drink. So, um, it, it just proves that, that, that there are a lot of other animals in the world that aren't selfish, that don't, uh, exhibit that kind of behavior. We, we kind of, it, I think that was sort of, that's sort of this, this, this justification, um, that certain people on the right wing had was just like, well, nature is harsh and selfish and mean and, you know, uncaring, but here we are, we're looking at rats showing empathy in the, at the same uh, center of the brain uh, as human beings. We have wombats digging holes so that other animals have a water supply. Um, you know, uh, and, and if you look at the economic climate um, that we're in right now, where we have a bunch of Congress people that are against, uh, against Americans getting UBI in, in a time of need, when, when people are out of work um, and things of that sort, um, you know, it just it just shows that we we're we're less intelligent than uh, rats and wombats. That's what it really shows yeah. us. I do I do think that uh, this is a, a significant experiment because it does. It, I think it shows us um, that emotions and empathy and understanding and compassion are deeply rooted biological functions, and that this this uh, uh, this notion that we are. Um, that that nature is cruel and cold and unkind is uh, is false. I think that's I, I think this is a major discovery in leaning in that direction. Uh, so uh, you know, I hope it, it, it's funny because because the right wing, whenever it comes to ideas of climate change, because I brought up climate change with the Australia thing, uh, when when they always bring up climate change, you know, they <laughs> they are they're always like, well, I'm no scientist. We got to wait till the scientists figure it out. And, and then, you know, and then they like always have this cruel, like they have this cruel, uh, unempathetic thing because they're just like, well, nature isn't nice. Life isn't nice. And it's like, well, no, we just kind of proved that it kind of is, though. We kind of proved that it is, though, a little bit like scientists have proved it. Also, scientists prove climate change. Uh, so so maybe maybe what we need more from the right wing uh, and and like re the corporate Republicans is is just to shut the fuck up hey everybody thank you for watching this video uh if you enjoyed it uh please hit the like button please share it um please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel uh, i'm gonna be posting videos uh pretty much every day and the video that you just watched is from uh, a live video that i did on facebook and i will be doing them every single sunday so uh if you're not following me on facebook uh, please do so, and then you can join in on the on the conversations that we'll be having uh, live on Facebook. But uh, in the meantime, uh, this this would be when I'll be telling you about some live stand updates. But right now, I don't uh, have any of those, and I'm not sure when we'll be resuming live events. So um, hit the like button, share it, and uh, if you uh, if you do have the means to, if you are able to, um, you can uh, you can donate at ramen noodles comedy 
patreon.com slash donate you can become a sustaining member or just make a one-time donation uh, whatever whatever works for you and if you can't no problem there will be tons of content out uh, for free because I think we all need it we all need to be good to each other right now so stay well